Welcome to Chelsea Sport Update. Before we start the video, please subscribe, like and feel free to comment. Ziyech qualifies for African Finals. Hakim Ziyech and the Moroccan national team followed their qualification for the Africa Cup of Nations with a draw in their match on Friday night, which guarantees them top spot in their group. One point for Morocco from their final two qualifiers was their initial target, but they qualified anyway ahead of their match against Mauritania when the other two sides in their group drew earlier in the day. Ziyech started but could not add to the three goals he had scored in the previous four matches in the group as Friday's game ended 0-0. It was a contest of few chances although the Chelsea man came close to unlocking the Mauritania defence on a couple of occasions with passes into the box, and a cross that was headed over in the second half. Morocco later wasted the best chance of the game with a shot wide. The draw was enough to ensure today's opponents can on longer overtake them into first position when the final qualifiers are played on Tuesday. Morocco host Burundi. Ziyech's team will be joined at the Africa Cup of Nations tournament by Ghana who qualified on Thursday, with Baba Rahman in their side. Kai Havertz netted his third international goal for Germany as there were wins all around for Chelsea players starting their World Cup qualifying campaigns on Thursday. Havertz started on the left side of Germany's attack, with Antonio Rudiger at the heart of a familiar back three, as Germany made a flying start to their qualifying group with a 3-0 win at home against Iceland. Joachim Lowe's side raced into an early lead by scoring the opener in the third minute, and just a further four minutes had passed when Havertz struck. The 21-year-old timed his run perfectly to meet Leroy Sane's low cut back just inside the box and find the gap between defenders to send a left-footed shot low into the net. Rudiger also came close to adding his name to the scoresheet shortly before halftime, but saw his header drift just wide, and Havertz had a second goal via a precise volley disallowed for offside before being replaced by Timo Werner with a little over 10 minutes remaining. At Wembley, both England full-backs for their 5-0 win over San Marino were provided by Chelsea, with Ben Chilwell and Rhys James starting on opposite flanks, while Mason Mount took his position in midfield. Chilwell and Mount were heavily involved in the move that resulted in the first goal by James Ward-Prowse with some slick passing down the left. Not to be outdone, James then whipped in the cross from the right which allowed Dominic Calvert-Lewin to head in England's second. Mount and James both made way as part of several half-time substitutions by Gareth Southgate, but Chilwell continued and it was his defence-splitting pass which created the opportunity for the fourth goal by Calvert-Lewin. Emerson Palmieri went close to getting a goal during an impressive attacking performance in Italy's win over Northern Ireland. He frequently got into the box to meet crosses and went agonizingly close with one header at the back post. The left back made way with 15 minutes left and his side leading 2-0, which is how it ended. Armando Broja continued his fledgling international career, coming off the bench to earn his fourth cap for Albania, playing the last 10 minutes of their 1-0 win away in Andorra. Andreas Christensen featured throughout for Denmark as they opened their qualifying campaign for the 2022 World Cup with a 2-0 victory away in Israel earlier in the evening. The Blues defender went close to opening the scoring early on with a header from a Christian Eriksen corner, but it wasn't long before they took the lead. Christensen made a number of important blocks as Israel briefly tried to fight back at a goal down, but a second strike after halftime settled what was a fairly routine victory for Denmark. Christian Pulisic played the first 45 minutes of the USA's 4-1 friendly win over Jamaica in Austria. From his place on the left wing, his movement was responsible for creating the space for fullback Serginio Dest to surge forward and open the scoring, before Pulisic was withdrawn at the break with his side leading 1-0. Baba Rahman helped Ghana secure their place at January's Africa Cup of Nations tournament by earning a vital point away against South Africa. That's all for now from Stamford Bridge. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching.